Yo, what's up everyone, Buzzy Beth here. Today, we're gonna go ahead and create a notification GUI that will appear anytime if we already owned a certain tool or already own a tool. So we're gonna just gonna go ahead and reiterate what we've done before, which is creating like some kind of inventory anytime we click on a part and we get this tool. So inside of my workspace, I have this honey part and I'm gonna go ahead and add a click detector because I want it so that when I click this part, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tool that I placed inside of server storage, which is named Honey Stick. Okay, let's go ahead and create our notification GUI. So of course, head over to Starter GUI, add a screen GUI, and then inside of this object, let's go ahead and add a frame. Now we're gonna place all of our text buttons, labels, whatever you guys want inside of this frame. For the screen GUI, my notification GUI, I'm gonna go ahead and create a button where if I click on it, the notification is going to close. And then I'm gonna add a text label, which says you already own this item. I'm gonna go ahead and script the close button inside of a local script in just a second, but this is what I have so far, a frame. And inside of this frame, we have a text button as well as a text label. You don't have to add the close button if you don't want, but this just makes it look so much easier. It's a, uh, people are able to you know, like interact with this UI even more and they're able to exit out of this UI. All right, so inside of our screen GUI, let's go ahead and add a local script. Uh, one more thing before we move on, make sure to tick untick visible inside of a frame so you, so you can't see it anymore. We'll activate it later. Add a remote event inside of replicated storage. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just rename it to give tool. And then back inside of our script, we have a variable which references the GUI itself our close text button and a few variables which references the click detector, our remote event. And then we're gonna go ahead and set it so that anytime a player clicks on the close UI, it's gonna go ahead and disable the text button. So we have a mouse click function where anytime a player clicks on the honey stick inside of our workspace, it's gonna go ahead and check to see if a player already has that honey stick inside of their backpack. And if they do, then the GUI is going to be visible. Then our notification is going to be popped up. But if they don't have the honey stick, then the remote event is going to go ahead and get fired to the server. Add a script inside of server script service. We've got a variable for our remote event, which is get tool and then our we're, um, honey stick inside of server storage itself. We have a on server event function where when the remote event is fired from the local script, then the honey stick is going to go ahead and get cloned and it will be placed inside of our player's backpack. Now that's it. Let's go ahead and test it out inside of our game. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop inside of our game. Let's go ahead and click on the honey stick itself so that we can go ahead and have that cloned inside of our backpack. Sweet. And let's actually go ahead and try to get another one and it doesn't work because I already own it. How cool is that? And I'll exit out of the UI. So cool. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.